Here's another one, PHP FPM. It's another PHP library used on Linux servers. And it turned out to have a serious vulnerability. So you can make your own um, machine running it on a Linux machine by installing a playground. And then you connect to your server um, on port 8080. And you can then run an attack. There's an exploit file you can download. And here, again, you get a PHP shell. So this is the exploit. It uses this vulnerable PHP server. This is what usually happens, by the way, whenever everybody hacks a server, like WordPress server, they upload a PHP shell. So there is a target that's vulnerable. It's able to inject a file onto the server. And now you've got a file called script.php. This is extremely common. On the server, you injected this file, and you can now put a Unix command here. You are, don't really have an environment and a username and a current directory and all that, but you can execute commands one by one. So if you put in ID, you get the output of the ID command is information about the current user. So we are www data because the PHP on the server is running through Apache, and this is the Apache user account. So now you can execute uname minus a to see things, and now you can execute commands one by one to search for flags on the server. So again, it's just another example of how this works. All right, and uh, let me stop this one.